Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. If you're into learning DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks, and are into having a look at some pretty cool gear, this channel is for you, and I would recommend you to subscribe. In this video, I'll show you how to make your still photos like this a little more alive. And it is a pretty easy trick to do inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. Um, and it doesn't require you to do too much. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, so uh, let's get right to this little tutorial here where we are going to use this still photo and make it a little more alive. Okay, so let's uh, head over to Fusion. So uh, here in Fusion, I'm just going to rearrange my things a little bit so and then we're just going to add in a fast noise and uh, if you look at it right now it looks like fog and that's not what we're going to do so first up I am going to detail our fast noise I'm going to scale it up so it'll be looking a little more like steam then I'm going to go to the seat rate um, and that's just adding how much the smoke will move and generate. So a little less, I think, would be good. And then we can bump it up a little bit more. Maybe that's better. It's always nice just to try out different settings to find the result you want. Okay, so with the fast noise selected, I'm just going to go back to the beginning of our clip. So now I'm going to put in a keyframe and then, then I'll go to the end of the clip and I'm just going to move my keyframe upwards. So it will make the illusion that the smoke is going from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. Then I'm just going to drag in a polygon tool and um, with the polygon tool selected, I'm actually just Going to shut down one of the screens so I have a little more space to work with and then I will just rearrange my workspace a bit here. And I'm going to draw a shape around the cup here. Not necessarily like this actually. Uh, let's say I'll make the smoke go like upwards like so. Something like like that. And then I'm just going to connect the polygon to the fast noise. And uh, as you see, now I have smoke coming up of my coffee cup here. But of course, I need to go into the polygon tool and then I'm going to soften up the edges quite a bit. Like you see here. Like that. So now we have this and that's all good and dandy and stuff like that, but I want to blend it in a little bit more. So first off, I'm going to take down the seed rate a bit, something like that. So it won't move so much. Yeah, something like that looks good, but I still feel like I want to blend this in a little bit more. So in the merge node, I'll go into the blend option right here. And then I'm just going to blend in my, my fast noise and the image. Now I'll go to the edit page. And of course now it just looks like a still with some animated smoke on. So what I like to do in with these clips is first off, I'm going to right click and then I'm just going to do a new compound clip like so and then I'm just going to select the clip go into the inspector set in a keyframe in the zoom area and then I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit like that and also I'll do the same for the position actually 
I'll uh, move in the cup a bit. So now we have this, and now it's zooming in, it's moving, but there is a problem, of course, because our black bars are getting zoomed in as well. So to fix this very easy, I'll go into the timeline, I'll put, and I'll just add in black bars from there. So here we have the clip. It's a super easy way of doing that effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.